Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are having a lot of fun in Tempta. This is just an update video on the team that I made last week and we are doing some revisions to the team and I'm going to go over them one by one and I'll let you guys know how to do it correctly. Uh, but this week we finally got a few more rematches to do and we rehashed the team again. So I believe a lot of you already have Luatel, Mimit, Chromion, Scunch and Sidepack, right? So you can still keep Mimit and use it as a uh, as a Luatel target, that is completely fine. However, if you want, you can also add Golzi. Uh, Golzi is really good considering it takes a, a lot of bands in most of the dojos. So uh, see if you can add uh, Golzi in your squad. It can be any other slot if you guys want. The trait does not matter, you can have whatever trait you want. Uh, rage, if you can, it is good to have Rage, 188 speed, uh, Rage, just to go before this, same as Sidepath, you know, but it's not necessary, you can just have any Golzi, any perfect Golzi as well if you want, uh, just count it as a bait for bands, okay, so let's just say your 5 initial combo is the same, Luatel Mimit, Luatel Mimit, Scourge, Chromion and Sidepath, the extra three temptons I would recommend will be a Golzi, a Nagais, and a Scarawalt. So again, these three are basically for picking up bands. But if you really want the Yovlar as well, then you can change the Mimit for Golzi. And that's pretty much all the changes I made, guys. With that being said, let's jump right into the Dojo rematches and I'll show you guys hopefully how it works and how the Golzis are picking the band so Golgi Scarawat Naga combo is really good as an extra just for taking all the bands so let's jump right into it so here we are on the first dojo for this video it's gonna be Raviri let's jump right into it Raviri has a lot of problems for us to deal with the first is uh, the Cerny the Rays, the Calibis they are all tanky Cernif and Caleb is definitely nerfs the stuff, so you need to ban race for it because you don't want to deal with the speed. Cernif counters Lovato directly. Let's hope it does not take Cernif. I think it will take Calibus and yeah, I'm a plug. So that is good for us. But we have to go with uh Psypad right away, otherwise they will lift this. So let's go with Psypad. Although that's not our combo guys, I know that, but we have to do it because we have no other choice right now. Let's ban the Cerny if we don't want that. And take our rest of the combo and we should be good. So Raviri, Raviri is really a problem sometimes because he has tanky times as well, but most of the time it's not a problem. I think we should be fine and we will be killing the side path. 353 HP should be enough. So let's see. Ah, uh, the Ice Shuriken actually went goes for it. Yeah, he has really fast Temtem this week. As you. Hopefully 353 HP is enough. Yeah, it is. So if we had a Chromion or a Sludge there, they would have definitely lived for sure. That's why I took side path first in this. Next we can go with Skunch because Skunch is just fine. Always remember the turn two has to be the mental attack so you don't overexert yourself. And that's how it works guys. So the turn two always mental attack. Which definitely kills Skunch as long as you have the war room on the water so always have that. I still don't know why I heal up. That thing is something we were not able to figure out. That something was dying and we were actually healing up instead of taking damage and I didn't understand. It even happened last time when we triggered a pig and we got healing instead of uh, the other way around and I still don't know the cause for that. So there we go, Raviri is done. We should be moving on to next dojo, which is gonna be Tihani. So let's make our way there to Tihani. Okay, here we are in Tihani. So let's jump right into this again. Uh, same setup, I believe. She has a lot of tank items as well, but she does not have the rays. 
So let's go ahead and deal with this Cerny. First of all, we don't need Cerny in our matches. With Saipat being gone, we don't have the tanky option that we had before. So let's go with the Wattle. We will take Golzi because Golzi is also tanky. I mean, in terms of HP, of course. So let's go ahead and get rid of Wolfie maybe. We don't need to deal with Wolfie. And let's take the others. I think we should still be fine. Let's just see because I'm testing it as well on this account. Because I had some other stuff on main account when I was streaming and when we were figuring out some uh, different combos. Although I do think Golzi will be in... Uh, why do I call it Golzi? Yeah, it should be enough to take this down directly by himself. Master on is no way fast. Hmm, I don't understand why did they go first. He should have gone first, but it didn't go first. Even though he had higher speed than the water. I guess not. Maybe it's a visual bug that I'm seeing in game. Cause yeah, the 10 dot team is actually not working perfectly fine right now, so that might be causing the bug. I have a feeling they might live, maybe. 322 is less for maybe Babawa. I'm just not sure of all the health pools right now, but yeah, Babawa actually lived. So he's gonna kill the Gulder, I believe. He's gonna kill the Luwattle for sure with this. Luckily, it lives, but I don't think it might live the Quetzal. Yeah, it does not. Hopefully, we should still be fine. The last pick is a Volcrane, so yeah, I think. Yeah, show off should be fine. I can one shot the Volcrane. So yeah, it comes down really to the HP sometimes, but just be careful and you should be fine. As I said, I'm literally showing each of the dojo that I'm doing with this team just to be, you know, completely transparent that it's not a short, short way that you're getting it every single time. Sometimes you do have to, you know, make your way through it. You might have to rematch once or so, but most of the time you can do it in one go as long as you do the bands correctly this should not be an issue like even if chromio dies we should be fine yola should just take care of it just fine So we are done with Tihani, let's move on to the next dojo. So here we go, match number three, let's get started, let's go right into it. Uh, things you need to worry about would be uh, Gulder and Valash, they are really annoying and they can always go first. I'm just gonna go ahead and ban the Valash first, cause he has the three prior. So let me go ahead and take this. Let's go ahead and take Golgi up because he's really good. Both of our mentals are gone, which is kind of a problem for us to deal with later on. So I think we should be fine banning Gulder, to be honest, because Gulder can be annoying and it might live. Yeah, let's go ahead and ban Gulder because it has a lot of HP. It lives our combo as well, so might as well get rid of him and get the uh, other stuff ready for this matchup. I still think Yovlar can pretty much wipe the dojo at the end if uh, the need be. So let's begin with this. So Faraday cage down here, range. Although I'm... Mm, I didn't expect that swap, but I think Golzi should be fine. Golzi is really... Chunky, 330 HP is something Grumper cannot have, so Grumper is dead for sure. Madrid as well, I believe. Yeah. 
very few tampons go through that number 320 300 320 plus let's go with chromion next Shubin and Wolder Rand, alright. Should be decent damage still. Close to that. Okay, that was fine enough. I think we should be getting this and force to dump as well then. <coughs> yeah. <coughs> should not be a problem from here onwards. We might waste a turn though for show off because I forgot to have um, what do you say clinch on this Yovlar. Usually you want the clinch. I don't have it because this is my PvP Yovlar and I was playing with Chamomile, that's why I don't have it. Yeah, that's how you should have it, to be honest. Just gonna take auto destruction. Faraday Cage and Suplex should be just fine to clear it off. It will attack the low auto for sure, yeah, the weakness. And there it's gone, and here we go with the Suplex coming in to wipe this dojo off as well. So let's go next dojo, which is gonna be a digital one. Let's see what do we have there. Alright guys, here we are in Digital Dojo, so let's see what do we have here. Uh, just one recommendation, if you guys are liking what you're seeing, and if, if you guys want me to make a weekly Dojo rematch thing every single week, and uh, try to make sure that I upload it on Monday itself, so you guys can follow up, just let me know and I can try my best to bring it on Monday every single time. I know this one is on Wednesday, but I'll try my best to get it on Monday if you guys want it. So please write it in comments and let me know about it. Let's go with Amphitheater Ban and start with our stuff. We need to take the bulkiest stems to begin with on this. I'll ban the Goji just for we know that it's bulky. Pretty sure digital dojo should not be an issue. I'm just not sure of that Gazuma speed, but other than that, we should still be fine. Saipad is our highest HP Temtem, so we got him here first this time. If he went first, then yeah, we will go second. We should not be worried about it. There we go. Gazuma was one threat, but since it's gone now, we should be really good to go in this dojo. I'm not to worry about anything. Scunch up next. Yes, Carawad is an issue as well, but I'm pretty sure... Oh wait, it's not the other one. Okay. I thought it was the other Carawad, the one which... Ah, oh, shit, this one is gonna hurt though, still. I believe Luwattle might die, the Thunder Strike is coming. Oh wait, it rested, wow. That's a welcome change, I thought he might attack and we would be done, but it rested, so that's okay for us, we don't mind. Let's finish this. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're good to go. GG Sasaya, let's go into the next dojo. And I believe that's the final dojo now. No, wait, we have two more dojos left. Uh, Musa and Sophia. So let's jump into Musa. All right, here we are on Musa now. As I said last week, this one is the one that gives you a lot of troubles, but Let's see how much trouble we are getting from this guy this week. Uh, let's get started, started with Ban and Bash, I believe. So here we go, the water is open again for us to pick. Uh, let's take the strong hitters as usual. Scunch is gone, maybe I should have taken Scunch. That might have been a bad decision. Maybe I, yeah, I definitely made a bad decision there, I think. 
but that is still fine let's just keep going let's ban the walash as i said last time walash can be an issue i'm really surprised the naga is not banned here so we will be picking up naga for sure there is no way we don't take it it just abuses this dojo so bad the naga but yeah with that being said let's get right into it right yeah, Golgi is, Gold is really strong. 329 HP is really strong. Uh, Mimit is basically 290 HP, which is why I replaced it with this. But yeah, if you can have Mimit, then it's good because you have one more target to have in your combo. Although it's not really required, but it's good to have if you want. It's definitely good to have if you would like it to have Yolar is definitely living this for sure I'm pretty sure of that maybe what I can do is actually instead of killing this I attack yeah what if I attack and next turn I do the combo yeah let's do that I mean, I'm pretty sure he's gonna live it if I attack it right now, so better just not do it. Let's hope it just lives, which it does. So this time we can do that, and that's really good for us now. Now you can die Romeo, and that's pretty good, I guess. We already chunked their damage down, so that was pretty sweet. I don't complain on that. We are good. Even if the water died, they, he did the job, so that's good for us. There is no way Gulder is doing anything against the Naga Yogler combo. With the hopeless turning, alright. Well, either way, should not do much. Oshidashi should just finish it off right away. If not, then Sai Surge is gonna take care of it. I completely forgot that Rotor is. Hmm. Well, there we go. Musa is done. So. The only one that's left now is gonna be Sophia. Let's jump right into it. Okay, so here we are, final dojo for the week. Sophia, let's see what does she have in store for us. So the only thing I see as a problem is probably Oshiara. There's usually a Gazuma, but not right now, so that's fine for us. Uh, let's get right into it with our picks. Let's take the side path in. I believe let's take care of this side bat as well because we can take care of rice with right uh, naga so that should be fine the only problem is if that naga is actually the seat aura then we have an issue other than that we should be fine in this So Faraday, Cage, and Rage. Ashurikane. Monka. That's a speedy one though. But yeah, Sidepad is Sidepad. You should be good. Guys, if you like what you like, uh, what you're watching, and if you want me to make more of these, please consider sharing this with your friend. And hit the subscribe button and click on the notification bar so that you get notified as soon as i upload a new video if you would like to join a community that is growing and always ready to help please feel free to join the community discord or drop all the links below and if you're gonna hang out with us and we actually make all these strategies then i stream on twitch every 
every week, five days a week, 3 p.m. CET. Be sure to come and drop, come drop in and say hi, you know. I'll be more than happy to meet you myself than on YouTube videos. But that is a choice that you make. If not, I'm still happy to help you any way possible. So just DM me if you have any requests, any questions regarding this strategy or anything else in term term. I'll be more than happy to help you. I'm mostly going to be focusing on my streams now uh, on PvP only. I took a big break and I was doing all kinds of other stuff. But I'm, I'm back and I'll just be doing PvP on stream from today onwards. But I think this dojo is done as well guys. There was not much difficulty here as well. We should be clean and crisp. But yeah guys that would be uh, the rematches. If you have any questions drop them in the comments below. I'll be more than happy to answer them. But until then, I'll catch you guys in the next video. See you later and please stay safe guys.